In the distant past, after the collapse of the Orokin civilization, Earth was left abandoned and desolate. However, over the centuries, nature took its course and the planet underwent a remarkable transformation. The once compared to now barren wasteland was now an overgrown vibrant superplant jungle, teeming with life and thriving in ways previously unimaginable. The Orkin's ancient technology had inadvertently infused the flora with extraordinary properties, giving rise to breeds of superplants that were not only stronger, but also grew at an astonishing rate. Hello everyone, my name is Quad and I am your storyteller for today. This is the Hall of Mirrors series, a series about Warframe lore, from events to characters and many other things. Today I will tell you a tale about the Cicero Crisis and how the Grenier effort to repopulate Earth was stopped by the Tenno. A like and a comment is appreciated, but now let's start. Despite Earth's newfound flourishing ecosystem, the Grenier, a militaristic and expansionist faction, sought to claim the planet for their own. The Grenier were an industrious and brutal race eager to secure more living space and resources for their ever-growing empire. However, the unruly plant life and wildlife proved to be formidable adversaries resisting the Grenier's attempts to conquer and tame the planet. Frustrated by their failed attempts, Counselor Vey Heck, a cunning and sadistic Grenier leader, devised a sinister plan to eradicate the tenacious plant life. He engineered a devastating toxin capable of annihilating the superplants and clearing the way for Grenier settlements. But fortunately, the Lotus intercepted information about Vehag's malevolent scheme. The Lotus communicated with the Tenno, alerting them to the impending danger and the critical importance of preserving Earth's delicate balance. The Tenno, of course, understood the significance of Earth's unique ecosystem and its potential implications for the future. They swiftly sprang into action, knowing that if Vehex Toxin were to succeed, the planet's natural balance would be permanently disrupted. The Tenno's first task was to develop antitoxins, capable of neutralizing the lethal sludge Vehex was pumping into the ground. With great diligence and a profound understanding of the flora, the Tenno embarked on a quest to seek out specific plants scattered throughout the jungles. Armed with their botanical knowledge and remarkable skill, they harvested these plants and skillfully refined them into potent antitoxins. Each antitoxin was named after a gemstone they resembled. Beryl, Amethyst, Citrine, Topaz, Lapis and Vermilion. The Tenno, now equipped with their potent antitoxins, infiltrated the massive facility housing the Toxin Injector, a towering and heavily fortified structure that the Grenier used to spread the toxic sludge into the Earth's soil. The Tenno knew they faced a hard battle against countless Grenier defenders, but they were undeterred. Amidst ferocious battles, the Tenno fought their way to the heart of the Injector's control room. There, they deployed the carefully prepared antitoxins, causing the injector to malfunction and initiating a chain reaction. The ground trembled as the toxic sludge began to recede, and a sense of hope filled the air as Earth's once dying plant life started to recover. The Tenno's bravery and ingenuity had succeeded in thwarting Vehex's nefarious plans and preventing an environmental catastrophe of epic proportions. Though some small toxin injector operations remain on Earth, they are not as devastating as those seen during the Cicero Crisis, thanks to the Tenno's efforts. As the toxic threat subsided, the Earth's resilient plant life not only rebounded, but also adapted, becoming even more dangerous to the Grenier invaders. This newfound power was augmented by another mysterious entity called the Silver Grove, which held secrets and potential consequences of its own. But that is a story for another day. Thank you for coming by, and I wish you a very nice day. Goodbye. <laughs>